Hi everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampitCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thanks so much for joining me today. I have another great project using the beautiful balloons stamp set, the dies, uh, some designer paper, and um, yeah, this is a, uh, a bonus project for our card class, which was Thursday, so you can go back and watch that. And just remember, there's an ordering special. If you order by uh, next Thursday, you will receive um, a set of the six cards that we made Thursday for free with orders of $35 or more. And if you spend $50 or more, you get a pack of the Tencel Gems four pack. So super cute, goes well with um, all the different um, colors in the the designer paper pack that goes with this. Okay, let us get started. So we're gonna do kind of a congratulations card today. So we're starting with a base of Lost Lagoon. I think this is the first time I have used this color since it has come back. And then we have a piece of um, Pretty Peacock, a layer right here, and then we have a layer of basic white to go on there. Now, before we assemble, we're gonna do a little stamping on this. We're gonna do some background. And this is the stamp set. So we're gonna use the little um, kind of, what is it, crepe paper banners, and then this little fun confetti um, stamp. So, I have not pulled out my ink. Where's my Lost Lagoon ink? That is a good question because it is not where I need it to be. I do have, we want some fresh freesia. Let me pull this out. I seem to be missing Lost Lagoon. Hmm. I'm just gonna take a peek. Yep, it's in here to use for something else. I don't even remember using this color. Okay. All right, so let's stamp a few banners. All right, we're gonna start with just one up here. We're gonna do, do full strength. Now, we are, uh, I'm gonna do a few in full strength. And now I'm gonna stamp off. But I like to re-ink each time and then stamp off because if you don't sometimes a weird things happen what I didn't stamp that very straight did I weird things will happen so um let me fill this in just a little bit more do a little background there and maybe one more down bottom going across I don't know why I can't stamp that straight but that's okay because we're gonna cover up with some balloons okay we're gonna grab oh that's Highland Heather I don't want that I want fresh freesia that's the color I'm looking for all right I'm just gonna stamp some confettis coming down some of these probably won't even show because we're gonna be putting balloons in here. One there, and that probably won't matter, but we're gonna put that. Give it one more stamp, and then I'm gonna grab a little bit of pretty peacock, pardon my reach. For some reason, I didn't pull my stamps out, my ink pads. And I'm gonna do this one that says, so thrilled for you. This would be a great card for a promotion. It could be for graduation. You know, you could switch around to the school colors, whatever you wanna do. And then I have pre-cut some balloons to save some time. I'm using kind of the medium balloon die cut. And I've cut um, three of them out of the designer paper right here. And then I've cut 
one balloon and then a smaller star out of the um, shimmer paper. And I will put the, the um, supplies on my blog. But I love, love this shimmer paper. I don't know if you can see how sparkly that is. Look how shiny and sparkly. Love that, love that stuff. Okay, so let's adhere this. And you know, sometimes I like to put my, my smaller layer on the larger layers first, and then I layer them onto the card front. And you always want to put your your adhesive on the smaller of the layers. Sometimes, you know, I, I see people and they put their glue all over the card base, and sometimes it gets too far out, and then you, you've got adhesive all seeping out. So use your, um, put your adhesive on the smaller pieces. Okay, now I've got some uh, Baker's Twine. This is the basic white. And I'm going to make a little string on each of these balloons. We're not stamping strings today. So I'm just gonna pop this up. Let's grab my ribbon scissors here. I'm gonna give it a fairly, a big enough piece. Let's see, we have four balloons. Let's just go ahead and cut four pieces. All right. So I'm just I'm just adhering them with a bit of a piece of um, dimensional, and there are so many different patterns in here. You could die cut balloons out of any of these patterns in the designer paper pack. Let's flip this around. Okay, let's. Let's do all our peeling off. I've already done that one. Okay. So let's take this one first. I'm going to adhere this right about there. And then I'm going to put this one up here, a little higher. And I'm going to put my star right here where I put it. I'm going to put that star on this one. Okay. Oh, I was going to stamp on that one. Hold on. I may have to rethink this just a second. Because I was going to stamp on this. I stuck my dimensionals on. All right. Let me see if I can come back to that. Let's grab our peacock, and I'm going to stamp this one. It says, you did it, right here on this balloon. Okay. Sometimes I forget what I'm doing. Do you guys ever have that happen? I know you do. It's not just me. Sometimes I think it's just me. Okay. And we're gonna put this one right about here. And then we're gonna grab one more piece of the white baker's twine. We're gonna tie a bow. We're gonna take all of our strings, gather them together, and tie a bow. So it looks like an official bunch of balloons. Okay, but I'm gonna grab my balloon strings and kind of Push my bow up a little bit. All right, and then I'm gonna trim these off. And let's grab a glue dot. Let's find a glue dot right there to put on the back of our Oh, I'm gonna peel that off. It's gonna be a little hard to place. Okay, so we've got it right on the back of the bow, and this will hold our strings in place. Cute! 
Oh my gosh, I love that. Let's grab a couple of our dots. I'm trying to use up all my bits and pieces before I start on my fresh pack. Okay, let's grab, I love these green. Let's do a big, and we'll do a small here. Maybe we'll do one more small. If I can pick it up, stick a small one up there. And I think, I think that's it. I'm just gonna stop while I'm ahead. <laughs> And then I've got a piece of basic white for the inside. This is a little bit larger than the one on front, on the front. And then I'm not gonna write the inside because this would be great for, um, you know, graduation or promotion or, you know, somebody won the science fair, whatever. So uh, lots of different occasions you could use this for. So I hope you enjoyed today's project. Uh, make sure to check back Monday. We're doing another fun card using black and gold. We're gonna do a shaker card, so you don't wanna miss out on that. All right, I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye-bye.